Hello DS106ers. This is Martha Burtis putting together a quick video for you uh, to assist with your web storytelling unit this week. Um, and in particular, I'm going to be showing you a couple tricks using uh, Hackasaurus, which is the uh, site we told you about. Uh, you can get to it by going to hackasaurus.org or Google Hackasaurus and you will find it. Um, and right here on the homepage, they've got some really basic instructions to help you get started. Um, and they kind of give you an example of how you can go about remixing a website. Um, and the website they're giving you instructions for is to just use this site right here, basically to replace this image of this strange looking girl in a cape with a different image um, that they're giving you a URL for. But I'm going to show you how we would do this if we were going to um, make use of a uh, um, hack a source on another website. And basically what you want to do is you want to install what's called a bookmarklet. Um, into your browser that allows you to use Hackasaurus on any website. So I'm going to go ahead and click this install button um, and that shows gives me some instructions about how to do um, add this bookmarklet to my bookmark toolbar but I know that um, for what I want to do I just want to drag this right up here. I already have it actually in my bookmark bar. It says x-ray goggles and that creates a little bookmarklet for me right in my browser called x-ray goggles. And now I'm going to go to another website Let's go over to the DS106 website. Hopefully it's working. I just switched over to wireless and it's a little bit slow. So let's just go to my blog instead. All right. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and click the X-ray goggles bookmarklet. And when I do that, um, I know that something has changed because as I mouse over the screen, you'll see I see all these funny little blocks showing up. Um, and basically what they're doing is they're highlighting different elements of the screen that I can change. So I can change this image, I can change this text, um, and I can change it to whatever I would prefer it to be. So if I want to uh, change the title of my site, so instead of calling it the fish wrapper, I will call it the wrapped up fish and click commit changes. And there we go. I have a new title for my website. To change an image, it's a little bit trickier, and the reason for that is that you have to upload the image that you want um, somewhere else, like to Flickr, and then you have to grab the URL of it and replace the URL of the existing image with the URL of your new image. So I've just highlighted the URL of the existing image. If I were going to replace that with my own image, I would paste my own image URL right in there, and again, click Commit Changes. Um, and once I'm done, um, and I want to save my changes. Uh, I want to click over here, it says P, the letter P for publish. So I'm just going to click P on my keyboard, which brings up this box. Um, unfortunately, the instant publishing tool is not working right now, but you can view the HTML source and just copy that. Um, that's going to copy it to your clipboard. And then what I'm actually going to do is um, go to uh, my WordPress site which I happen to be at right now. So I'm going to go into the back end of my WordPress site and under media I'm going to go ahead and click add new. Oh sorry there's one other step I forgot to show you. First what I need to do I have the HTML code it's in my clipboard but I need to save it to a file. So I'm going to open up my text editor. I use a text editor called Coda. Um, you can just use whatever basic um, text editor you have on your computer as long as you can save it with the extension .html instead of .txt. So I'm going to open up a new text file, paste that in there. It's just going to look like a lot of code. Um, and then I'm going to go to File and Save. And I'll do this as newfish.txt. HTML. Save that to my documents folder. And now I'm going to go back to my WordPress blog. Choose select file and upload newfish.html. And just like you upload an image file to your WordPress blog, you can actually upload an HTML file. So it will give me the URL of my new uh, page, which I'll just go ahead and open up in a new tab. And sure enough, enough, there is my edited version with my new title. It looks exactly like my blog, except the committed changes I, may, I made are now visible there instead. 
And now that I have that URL, I can easily go into a post or a page and make a link to it to share it on my blog. We also ask that you make a screenshot of your uh, page too, an image screenshot that's pretty easy to do on both Mac and PC. It's built into the operating system. If you need help with that, let us know. But another good trick is to just Google Mac screenshot, PC screenshot, and you'll get lots of tips about how to take screenshots. So edit your page, save it as an HTML file, upload that file to your blog and link to it, and make sure you grab a screenshot and share that as well. And you'll be well on your way to telling us great stories on the web. Good luck.